Okay, YouTube, I'm here to show you my penny sorter. Um, I happen to watch a video online, and I'm going to show you a picture of the guy uh, right here. Anyone for America won? And uh, this guy here has built a uh, penny sorter. I'm going to try to link my video to his, see if he's generous enough to show everybody. Basically, I watched his video, I didn't watch any others, and I decided I wanted to build a penny sorter. But his was a little too slow, so I thought I wanted to try to speed it up a little bit. So uh, I started out by using something similar to him, which is uh, a little motor, gear reduction motor from a VCR that I had installed years back. And just put a little power plug on it there. And what I used was a block of hardwood and a piece of vinyl siding. And I cut out a little penny hole and made a chute. And uh, voila, now you've got a, a little penny dispenser and I'm going to back up here and show you the original design uh, I can get this in the frame what I designed was this and I had designed it this way so that a penny will roll down the chute and I've got this little bar here with a penny in it which is uh, weighted to the old style heavy copper penny and it was supposed to allow the uh, pennies to fall out or ride through and what I found was it's actually more reliable if you go backwards which seems quite unorthodox but hey I'm not gonna fight with mother nature so the problem was this crude first attempt was just too wide too messy parts flopped around there's no way to shore up the things pennies would get jammed in here so I spent my whole six dollars and fifty cents and I went and I got some aluminum rails and some plexiglass and I riveted this together and we have a very similar design there's an old style penny put in here and then with a counterweight so that I can get the angle of the uh, descent to correspond with the weight of the pennies because there's a threshold between a, a new penny and a young an old penny so by adding a paper clip which was part of the uh, coming from the original design I, it allows me to change the angle of the ramp and then just create a little bit more weight to compensate for the speed of the penny so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, 10 pennies that are old and 10 pennies that are new and I'm going to run them through the machine so you can see uh, like I said it's quite unorthodox but out of about five dollars worth of pennies I got this thing to run through with about two errors which is uh, substantially higher than what we were getting with that first wooden one now uh, one nice thing about this unit was uh, when I screwed it together the motor motor was uh, kind of put on after the fact and this motor is definitely underpowered so uh, the nice thing is I can unscrew the block where the motor is and replace it with a more powerful unit but for now this is all I've got so I'm going to show you real quickly here's 10 old pennies they weigh a lot maybe nine put them in there you're going to see that they're all heavy they all stay to one side ten new pennies and then I'm going to mix them together because initially that was an issue in order to get this machine to operate correctly on the threshold of being able to pass one penny without the other I had a time time delay with the new pennies can see we have 10 new light shiny pennies and we've got 
10 old cap pennies. This thing uh, operates at about 40 pennies a, a minute. Um, I can actually speed the motor up because I've got it hooked to a little adjustable transformer but then of course the gate on this separator can't keep up with it and you'll get two pennies flying through at the same time. So this was definitely another idiotic YouTube inspired project but you know for six dollars and fifty cents this thing will sort forty pennies a minute that's not too bad so alright I hope this uh, inspires other people to waste considerable amounts of time doing shit that they don't really need to but hey it's fun Thanks.